In today's segment, we're going to learn all the basic oar strokes. These are rowing strokes that every oars person must know and understand. It doesn't matter if you're rowing an inflatable raft or a hard side drift boat. If you plan on rowing down a river, you need to learn and practice these strokes. The first stroke is the standard pull stroke. It's simply reaching the oar handles out in front of you, drop the blades in the water, and pull the oars back smoothly to your chest. Watch that the blades are just covered in none of the oar shaft. Wrap your thumbs comfortably around the end of the oar handle. This gives you the best control, especially if you choose against oar right. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Pull back evenly on both oars to maintain a straight line. Long and smooth pull beats short and choppy every time. The next stroke to learn is the push stroke. Pushing is less powerful as you use your back and arms instead of your legs. As always, wrap your thumbs around the oars and keep a loose grip. Now we are pushing the oars against the water. Push and lift, push and lift. Remember to push evenly against both oars. As with any stroke, long and smooth is your goal. Next up isn't necessarily a stroke, but a transition. This is what I call the slowdown. The slowdown is in play whenever you need to slow your momentum or transition to another stroke. The slowdown occurs typically mid-stroke. So if we're doing a pull stroke and need to slow down that backward momentum or transition to a push stroke, simply drop the blades and drag them. Mirror that transition from a push to a pull stroke. Avoid chopping one stroke to another. It's water, not cordwood. Now we need to learn how to turn the boat. The simplest way is by executing a single oar turn. The single oar turn will send your bow to the right or to the left. Turn your boat to the right, simply pull on the right oar. Remember this is a pull on the right oar, not a push. Lift and hold the left oar out of the water. Pull smooth to your chest. Need to turn the boat to the left? Reach and pull on the left oar. Right oar blade held above the water. Nice, light grip on the oar. Smooth pull to the chest. Long and smooth. So now you can turn both right and left, but how fast and how strong. The double oar turn not only speeds your turn, but adds balance and power to your stroke. To execute the double oar turn, start by pulling on one oar, then push the opposite oar to increase the spin speed. The double oar turn to the right, pull on the right oar while pushing on the left. Keep your grip loose and practice a bit. You'll get it. Going to double oar and turn to the left, pull on the left oar while simultaneously pushing on the right. Once again, think long and smooth strokes. Pull and push. Pull and push. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for additional rowing and fly fishing pro tips.